Alright, welcome to the third and final video for our bridge quiz. We're going to set up our submit or answer button and basically set it up so that when an answer is put in it'll check if it's correct or incorrect and then give that statement. Uh, so let's go to my blocks and you want to go to the answer button which is our submit button and you're going to drag out the when the answer button is clicked do this All right, so we want to do we want to go to built-in and logic. I'm sorry, control and get the one that says if else then do else do. So we are going to test for the answer. All right, so we're going to go to built-in and math and get the equal sign. And under my blocks, you want to go to answer text and get the one that says answer text dot text okay so this is what the user will be putting into the text box and we want to check that against our list so we're going to go to built in and lists and get the one that says call select list item so we're going to be calling upon a list item. The list is our answer list, so go to built in and my definitions and select global answer list. And then the index will be referring to our current question. So that's going to be under my blocks, my definitions and current question index. So it's going to test if the answer that is put in is equal to the answer on the answer list and this will tell it uh, the current question that we are on alright so if if it's equal to it then we want it to give the text that it is correct so we're going to go to the right wrong label and select right wrong label text so set right wrong label text to and then we'll go to built-in text and this is what our app will respond with so if the letter is correct we want it to say correct All right. now if it's not correct it's going to be under this else do so we're going to copy and paste this and we're going to change the text to incorrect All right. And then the last thing we need to do is under the next button, we're going to put in, um, so it'll change the text here. So let's go to the next button. And then up at the top, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to my blocks and go to um, right wrong label. And we want to set right wrong label text to we're going to copy two of these here I'm sorry no we just need one we're going to go to built in text and delete that okay so when we click the next button it's going to uh, get rid of the text basically and we're going to go to my blocks and we're going to go to answer text and we want to get rid of that as well so under we want to find where it says answer text dot text set answer text dot text to and we can copy this as well so when we click the next button it'll zero these out there won't be any value in there All right. So you want to go ahead and try this when you're done. So I'm going to reconnect to the emulator here. I'm going to go ahead and pause this till my emulator's up. All right, so let's test it out. It says, what is the longest suspension bridge in the United States? So the correct answer should be A. And then I'll type in Enter here. And when I hit Submit, it should bring up correct and then when you click next it'll zero it out here and it'll take you to the next question 
and I have it set up. I have my first and my second question the same. So I can go to the next one here. Um, so where is this bridge located? I believe it is China. You push it in, hit enter, hit submit. It tells you that. Now I want to show you guys something. If you put a period after the letter and hit submit, it will say incorrect because there is no period in our answer list. Or if I do a capital B, press enter and hit submit, it will be incorrect. So the letter has to match exactly what you have in your answer list. And you should be able to go through and type in the answer, hit enter, and submit, and it should work. Okay. And once you guys have this done, just go ahead and get my attention so I can give you a grade uh, for your integrated project. Thank you.